definitely been uh, busy putting together uh, my home and also um, doing some side quests and stuff like that. Just an update on like the NPCs. I've been, you know, slowly gaining favor with them and, you know, doing little errands and things for them here and there. I have successfully initiated romancing Hassan, so that's cool. Oh, this is why this is all busted. Okay, let me move this over. This is so awkward. Oh, I think I busted part of the house. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta investigate this. What's going on here? Why is there a big hole in the back of my house? Oh, because I, I added a fireplace. I forgot all about this. Here is like my kitchen area. So I'm kind of working on uh, the kitchen area. Uh, I actually got this wallpaper from the... Uh, like I, I traded in. I think it's... I want to say it's 280 hunting medals. I could be wrong, but I, I, I traded uh, with a son and then I got uh, this really cool wallpaper, which I really like. So I'm going to make a recipe. I'm going to make this one because I, I need to um, I need to trade in a high quality version of this so that I can. Uh, oh, I don't think I'm going to get high quality. Let me uh, let me start this recipe so you guys can watch me burn shit. It is a mini game. Yeah, these little mini games are kind of cool. Cooking is hard, man. Like this game makes me feel like I like like I don't know what I'm doing, but it's like relatively simple what they're asking you to do. But I don't know. I think I'm just overthinking it. God, there's so many steps. You also have a time limit to complete the recipe. And if you don't do it in that time, you basically fail it and the food goes bad. It's it's very depressing when the food goes bad. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat right now, guys. <laughs> I don't want to burn my food. <laughs> it took me so long to get all the materials that like if I burn my food, I'll probably like cry or something. Multiple mini game and cooking makes it interesting. Yeah, it does. It does. It makes it interesting, but also somewhat stressful. <laughs> I don't think it's stressful and like a bad stress. I just think it's like it just adds an extra layer of like competency needed. Luckily for me, I'm good at timing my shit. All right, adding and adding, adding more ingredients. Now time to stir. It really does feel like general like cooking. I think that's what stresses me a little bit with this. No. It's low quality, no. Uh, I need more high quality ingredients, that's a shame. You just boil water on your stress? Damn. Reminds me of myself a little bit, to be honest with you. I was just boiling water earlier today and I was like, man, it's been a while since I'd done this. And then I was like nervously hovering over the pan, wondering if it was just gonna burn or something. Do more complicated foods sell more? Uh, in theory, I think so, yes. So like, uh, I'll, I'll check actually that's a good question so depends on the kinds of foods and like so like this one here is kind of complicated this one sells for 30 so the one I just made sells for 77 this is a harder recipe uh let, let actually let's see what the hardest recipes sell for so this one's 77 this one, 57, 33, 47, 44. I think it's based on ingredients. The harder the ingredients are to get. Let's see, this one, 30, 42, 25, but these aren't as difficult. Yeah, I think it's based on what how many materials you need, how complicated the recipe is. So like if you have a five star recipe, it sells for more than anything else. Do I think it's worth it to like just spam making food? I'd say no. I think mining or farming probably makes you more money. Yeah, this game is like super chill. Like I told I told someone earlier that like this game lowers my blood pressure. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a friend request. I guess I'll add them. I don't probably someone watching me. I don't know. I'll add I'll add anyone. So if anyone wants to add me in this game, feel free. I don't mind. Let me check the map. Okay, Hassan's here, but where's Tao? But I'm not entirely sure, so I'm just gonna go uh, talk to Hassan anyway. Oh, Tao is with him. Oh yeah, there's this bug that has like started since like the new patch, where sometimes when you try to interact with stuff, the option to do so is just completely missing. 
Like, it'll tell you what the button does, but it doesn't tell you what button to press and it doesn't let you. <laughs> it's weird. Here's your food. All right. Tao's happy. Tao is so cute. All right. Did you run into any trouble out there? Oh, yeah. Hassan is nicer to me now, by the way. Because <laughs> I decided to romance him, so he, he's a lot nicer. He's kind of awkward, but like in a good way, if that makes sense. Have I seen your plume hound Tao? You mean the one standing next to you, Hassan? You might need some glasses, bro. Please alert me if you see him in the forest. I wouldn't want any harm to come to him, okay? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh... Oh, God. I can go with a spicy option, or I can go with the laid-back funny option. Uh, I'm gonna ask him out of map. Shouldn't you have one too? Why? Oh! Oh my! Because I got lost in your eyes, dear lord. He's leaving! He hated it! <laughs> okay, he fucking hated that. That was great. <laughs> he seemed like almost disgusted. It's like, dude, how, why did you... You know what? Okay, that was pretty funny. By the way, so fun fact, if you decide to romance Hassan, his mother, Sifu, tries to help you out. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, if, you, if you've been, like, interacting with Sifu, she'll be like, Oh, uh... I see you've been, uh, courting my son. That's cool and all, but if you break his heart, I'll break your lips. Okay, she didn't say it like that, but she might as well have. Oh, he's mad. He's, oh, he's mad. I haven't talked to him in a while. Damn. Oh, yeah. So something else, too, is really funny. If you don't talk to, like, a character for a while, like, one of the NPCs for a while, they'll get mad at you. Like, they'll actually be offended. Like, they'll be like, what now? Or, like, uh, like his daughter gets really upset, and he gets really upset. Now I see where she gets it from. <laughs> We're all gathered for, for the... Uh, for the lure. I've used one before and it's actually kind of cool. So I'm glad you guys get to see this. Whoops. That one's not as cool. I missed. No! Come back here. There's so many on the floor that's like hard to like keep track. It's really cool. I like how glowy and pretty it is. Oh, my inventory's full! No! Okay, well, I don't need that cricket as well. If I find something really useful, then I'll I'll make sure to loot it. Oh, there's another purple one here. The purple, uh, oh. Oh my god, I keep missing. Go down, damn it. The purple ones give silk. So that's why everyone's like trying to focus those. Come back here, purple one. Nice, I got another two silk. Oh, there's another one here. Nice, nice. It's so funny, everyone's just like throwing these things at like... These poor bugs. Like, they're just living their best life and we're just disrupting everything. <laughs> It's kind of nice. Oh, my bug catching is level 10 now. That's nice. All right, let's enter the tree house. Let's see what's in there. Oh. Wow, it's a lot nature in here than I anticipated. Now that I know what it looks like in there, it's kind of interesting. All right, here's the abandoned campsite. Oh, what's this? Oh, a new quest. Unsigned love letter. T. I've been thinking about what you said to me last night. How something like ours was never meant to last. I cannot accept that. I know what I feel for you is real. As sure as the sun rises every morning, steady as the stars in the night sky. If you give me the chance, I am willing to devote the rest of my life proving it to you. Tell me that you'll consider it that, uh, that's all I ask. H. Excuse me? 
Okay, I think I know who this belongs to, and I'm very concerned all of a sudden. I think the T is Tamala, and I think the H is Hassan. And if I'm correct, now, okay, here, I'm theorizing, okay? I'm theorizing. So according to Sifu, right, Hassan and Tamala were a thing for a while, but then they separated. I don't know the, the, the whole backstory. I don't know the reason. I don't know whatever. Right? But according to Seafood, she broke his heart. So, no. Well, yeah, I guess it is kind of a game theory. <laughs> so, my theory is that Hassan might have start, might have written this letter for Tamala and never sent it or never, never gave it to her. That is my guess, because mind you, where we're at, this place is kind of remote. Where does Hassan like to be? Away from everyone. This is also a campsite. What does Hassan like to sleep in? A campsite. I, I, I'm a little sus. I'm a little sus of this whole thing. I'm going to drop off the camping gear for Ani. It's a good thing I found that letter. There she is. She'll probably be upset I haven't talked to her in a while. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, never mind. She's not mad at. Oh, should I ask if that's her letter? I don't think I want to. I want to ask Hassan about it, not her. Uh -huh. Rumors of a mysterious creature prowling the Elderwoods on the north is in the dead of night. <laughs> I would like those tales of. Uh, sorry, I would take those tales with a grain of salt. Next, they'll be telling you the old well is filled with ghouls and goblins. God. All right, let's see what her weekly thing is. If you see some emerald carpet moss, would you be a lamb and bring some to me? Yeah, sure. Don't I'm not going to ask her about the letter. I'm going to ask Hassan about the letter. Because it, because the thing is, it looks like he wrote it. So I think it'd be like less embarrassing for him if I came to him with it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to ask her, man. I, I don't know her that well. Bright room. Nice. Like, imagine, like, I just talked to her twice, and the second time, it's just, Hey, is this your love letter? Like, what? So, I, I think I'm gonna ask Hassan about it. He might actually- I, I wonder if that would, like, if that's even an option. So, the theme for this zoo is that every animal that is added to the zoo must have hooves. So, like, for example, llamas would be disqualified. Why? Because I looked it up, and it turns out they have nails, not hooves. <sighs> I haven't spent a dime yet, and I feel like I'm losing money already. Is there a hoofed carnivore? That's a good question. I, I would I would assume not. But I also don't want to assume, because I've been surprised before. <laughs> pigs are... Oh, that's true. Pigs are omnivores. Yeah, I think there's omnivores, but not... Um, I know... I think goats can also be omnivores. I think pigs and goats are omnivores. Pigs, some deer, hippos. Yeah, but hippos don't have hooves. They have nails, don't they? Let me look it up. Oh, that is weird. Well, this is according to, to the googly searching. Hippopotamuses have four toes on their feet with hooves covering each toe. What the fuck? I didn't even know you could have a hoof per toe. Like, that's... What? <laughs> that is so weird. I've never heard of that. Wow, I guess hippopotamuses are in. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to put a place where the guests can view. That's so dumb. We're already 30 minutes into the stream and I haven't placed a single animal. Holy shit. <laughs> let's see what the habitat requirements need. The terrain is bad. Okay, let's start with terrain. Oh, ho. all right. Uh, we need more soil, so let's make it a little- Oh my god, there's people already walking in! I forgot to close the zoo! Rip. Okay, hold on. Before I do anything... Boom. Donate, damn it. Boom. Donate, damn it. There. Three donation boxes I think are fine, and you know what? I'm gonna put up some... Damn, I didn't even put up signs. What am I doing? I'm like failing, like I'm totally, like I'm really not used to franchise mode. It's been a while. I think the last time I did franchise mode was before I started streaming. <laughs> People are so excited to see your empty bongo exhibit, right? Right? Apparently someone was spreading the word because they're all here. <laughs> 
No amenities, no restroom, no food, no gift shop. No gift shop! <laughs> uh, I really need to put down an information center though, because if it starts raining, where are they gonna go? To the information center. Why? Because they have umbrellas. Oh. Okay, African oil? How much are these trees? God damn. Yeah, so I, I always try to like choose like a weird theme for like all my zoos, like the, at least the ones I do on stream. Uh, my previous zoo was just all climbing animals. So the animals had to climb in order to be in the zoo. That also included exhibit animals and stuff like that. Like they all had to have some kind of climbing ability to be there. So they could have at least given the bongo some kind of shelter. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, okay? Man, these guests are so impatient. They look pretty happy. At least so far. They have the space. They have... Okay, what's going on with the nutrition? Quality of last meal. Oh, right, because I don't have the... Uh... See, that's why I need to have the vet doing the research so that I can improve the quality of the food. These guys kind of remind me of, like, the Okapis. Like, they look kind of like them a little bit in the sense that... They look like something that shouldn't actually exist. <laughs> but I do like bongos, they're cute. How does it affect? Okay, so like each animal has a st animal star rating that is rated out of five stars. This rating increases over time based on how well you look after your animal. A higher welfare will mean their star rating rises faster. An animal's lifespan also affects how easy it is to reach a five star rating. The better the animal's longevity gene, the more time there is for the animal to reach five stars. I'm trying to remember exactly, but I think that I think that the animal food quality, at least from what I've heard, I, I don't see it here, but what I've heard is that the, the food quality increases your star rating. That it makes it easier to reach that higher star rating. At least in my experience, that's checked out, but I don't know if it was just that that caused it. Here we go. Let's see what this looks like. What happens when they mate? Okay, they just rub on each other, all right. That's pretty basic. I was expecting something with a little bit more pizzazz, but that works. <laughs> I was curious, because it's been a while since I've had a bongo in my zoos. They just smooching? <laughs> a little more sass, I beg your pardon. Look, I've seen some crazy shit in this game. You should see what the flamingos do. What they do is weird. Like, it shouldn't like some weird elaborate dance thing. It's like, I don't know. It's something. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't want to see flamingos. Thank you. <laughs> no, don't worry. Flamingos do not have hooves, so we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, almost stretch. Thank you for the stretch set dash. Stretching. Ugh. Ow. Oh. oh. My back just like did a thing. Oh, that was awful. Jeez. My back just like cracked in like 10 places when I stretched. It was really bad. <laughs> How much do it look? Akron. <clears throat> Let me explain. Okay. I'm going to explain the situation. Okay. First of all, this whole thing with my back, right? I've been sleeping on a broken mattress for about a year now maybe a little over a year. I don't have the money to replace the broken mattress, okay? It does things to my back. Things I don't like, but I cannot help it. So unfortunately, I can't really do much about that. Oh, and I did flip it over for the record, carrying the huge scythe around. <sighs> yeah, you know what? It probably doesn't help, but you know, if I if I uh, if I'm if I'm careful, I can use it to make sure I don't fall over. I can lean on it. Oh shit! It's getting cold in this habitat. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. My animals are freezing. Hold up! I gotta I gotta help these guys. <laughs> oh no! It's snowing. They're all hiding. What fantasy animals? Definitely, I would put Pegasus, dragons, uh, chimeras, kitsunes. Um. I feel like there's others that I'm not thinking of right now. I think they're called Tanukis. I think that's another one. I think I'd like to see. I don't know. They look like they could be real. So that's, I thought it'd be interesting. And I feel like there's another one I can't think of right now. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. 
This is an albino female. Oh, sorry. I keep saying albino. It's leukistic. I'm going to slap myself every time I say it. Jeez. I hate making mistakes like that. Like, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit this and be like, I'm such a fucking idiot. Why did I keep saying leukistic? Uh, why did I... I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I, I can't even. I can't even chide uh, or or even yell at myself properly. Apparently, so I'm gonna go with one that's zookistic. Francisco two. Where's Francisco one? The difference between like a franchise zoo and a sandbox zoo isn't just the fact that you have unlimited money and unlimited resources and everything available in your sandbox zoo, but the fact that when you do a franchise zoo, the ones that are like already named, so like for example, like this one, right? Like Francisco 2, if I look at where they came from, it'll say Hub Zoo. So Hub Zoo is owned by someone who also plays the game and they bred Francisco too. too. I'm gonna put a uh, asterisk next to all the animals that are named by the way in this zoo. Cause like the other one I can kind of remember more but this one's gonna be a little bit harder cause now I'm juggling two different zoos remembering all the lineages and all that. So I hope, I hope you don't mind with the asterisk just to keep track. Make sure I don't accidentally like send off someone's animal. <laughs> you know, it would really suck. And you know what? Uh, I'm gonna put up an ATM. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't have a mechanic. Fuck! I just realized I don't have a mechanic. Oh, the barriers could fall at any moment. Ah! Okay. Uh, don't panic. Distract them a bit. Give them free ice cream at the entrance. <laughs> Distract them. It's not a bad idea. It's because they came from the same. Oh. And what's the baby born? I didn't see this. Hi, baby. How's it go? Look at that face, guys. Look at that face. Look at that face. Aww. I didn't even see the baby being born. That's a shame. But they're adorable. So I'll take it. Oh, look, there's two now. I keep missing the birds. Aww, look at that baby. All right, so we got we got some we got three animals now in the zoo. One of them is so I don't usually do like habitats where like multiple types of animals live in and all at the same time, but I want to try it again. I, the last time I did this was actually my Africa Zoo, which was like three or four months ago. OK, here we go. What do they do? OK, they just they're just rubbing on each other. OK, our, oh, OK. It's a little spicy. I'm out of here. <laughs> the mixed animals, they they actually get a interspecies bonus. So the way you figure that out, right? If you click on like, let's say I click on this adorable little bongo, right? And I go to the Zoopedia. If you go to the interspecies enrichment tab, it'll show you what animals they do well with in the same habitat. So let's say it was a red river hog, right? And I'm doing interspecies enrichment. Any of these animals could fit in the same habitat as them and coexist and be totally fine. All right. All right, we'll name him Gorswine. Nice. I like the reference, the V Rising reference. Mwah. Perfect. Cherry on top. <laughs> Here we go. For the babies. <gasps> oh. Server might still be stabilizing. I don't know. The server should be stabilized by now. I, I restarted it about like, what, 10 minutes ago? It should be good by now. I don't know. Oh. Um, I'm not touching anything, guys. My hands are off the keyboard and mouse. Okay, no. All right, so what I'm going to do, I guess I'll show you guys the super secret castle. I didn't plan on showing you guys. This is a local save, so it shouldn't take a shit on me. I'm using it as like my private abode for like pure castle building experimentation. Um, I was going to do a castle build video, which which would be like a time lapse for this particular castle. And uh, I was going to show that time lapse while I was on uh, while I was gone for like a couple weeks, because uh, I know a few of you suggested maybe, uh, you know, pre prepping stuff to like be released during that time. And that this was actually something on that menu. I'm actually getting... Oh, and by the way, I brought Pocahontas here with me. <laughs> I got lucky. I think uh, this Pocahontas... Yeah, this Pocahontas is actually has decent stats. 
So I decided to start my first castle on here all the way in the corner because I wanted to try it with like the waterfall front and all that, see what it looks like. I have like a little garden thing kind of going on here, but if you step out and you look, uh, you know, it's just kind of like this nice little under area. So the idea here was that I was going to put like a little f like farming area here where I can just like grow stuff. But uh, I actually have a lot of really cool uh, stuff going on with this castle. This castle actually has four floors. It's nice because like it's close to like a way gate. It's also close to the silver mines, which is kind of nice. I think it just has like one of the better views down in Farbane for sure. So uh, here is my forge room, I guess you could say. I got my little workshop here. I have some coffins here. So there's like a little pathway here, like a little hallway area. And in the center, uh, this is where I would put all my horses. Like they would be in like their own like pen. Over here we have another like kind of outdoorsy area. With this one, I actually use the gates in between the pillars to kind of add like a different effect here. And I kind of like the way it turns out. There's a little um, fence here that I kind of, you know, a little gate I put here. The second floor, uh, this is the second floor balcony uh, from the, you know, the view right above the horse pen. So if you put a bunch of horses in here, you could see them. Uh, I also made it so I could just jump through or jump over. I started working on this part here with like a with a wider staircase because I don't usually or typically use wider staircases in my build. So I was thinking maybe I could put like a pillar here and see if this kind of works its way out. But um, the way things are moving, I'm not really sure if I like this. So I'm going to have to experiment with this. Um, but yeah, this has kind of been uh, my little side project that I, I've kept hush hush for a while. So you guys get a little sneak peek preview. But I guess I, I could talk a little bit about um, some of the stuff going on in my life and some of the stuff that I would like to implement in the future. So we're getting closer and closer to the new year and I'm thinking about putting together a video where it's like, you know, the year like recap, like 2023 recap of Sholo or whatever, um, where I just show like some of my earliest clips and some of my older clips and it's just going to be like the weirdest thing. <laughs> The quality is just going to change so much. So V Rising, like the newest patch, like the biggest, the big drop, right, is going to be sometime in, I think, the second quarter of next year. Um, it's really exciting because a lot of times, you know, people, whenever they play like a game that's like early access, you see a lot of like these comments on like places like Twitter or Reddit where you have like the few like disgruntled people who are just like, when are you going to release the game? And the thing is, I can't even get mad at these people because it, it, like I understand the sentiment, you know, like there like there have been, you know, situations, you know, with other games and stuff where people just don't follow through and I can understand why people get mad. But I think it is a little unfair to kind of project that sentiment toward, you know, people who are actually doing stuff. And it looks like the people, the devs for V Rising, are actually doing stuff. I mean, every time they come out with an update, they mention something, you know, that could be really important going forward. Um, so I'm hoping, because I think we're supposed to get like one more dev letter before the drop. So whenever that comes out, that's going to be very interesting. Um, so I look forward to that. You wheezed after that gargle? What gargle? What are you talking about? Did I just gargle? Did I just make like a noise? Did I did I did make a weird noise? I don't. Someone clip that because I don't rem I don't remember. Oh, the gargle after the Twitter part. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it's just like I don't know. Like, I like I guess like I I think a lot about what to do with my content. And it's it's kind of stressful because it's like you have like there's stuff I want to do and then there's stuff that like I, I'm not sure if I should do and then there's other things that I'm just like if I do this I can't do this other thing because of time so which is more beneficial to my audience I don't know you know 
if I put vegetation on the outside here, it's not going to stand out as much. Let me see what I can do. Let's put some castle wall vegetation. I'm going to go with the, um, the blood rose. See what that looks like. Hmm. Okay. Not impressed. Let me try with the white. What's weird is that if I put the, the white brick, it's not really visible. But if I put these walls, it is. And it's just like kind of... kind of don't like it. And like I said, it's still an early access game, but there's so much like stuff that's already done that I'm kind of... I, I'm somewhat confident that the game is going to be re like have a, have a successful release upon uh, official launch. I think I, I got the hole downstairs looking good now. Oh yeah, I'm trying to do like a monthly events on the server, but I don't think I'm going to have an event for December because I'm going to be gone for like two weeks. No show for two weeks. BRB going to dial up my therapy. Oh my God. Yikes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, unfortunately, I am obligated to go somewhere and uh can't get out of it i tried i held it off as long as i can but i gotta go somewhere so uh when i come back uh you best believe i'm gonna be streaming and doing all types of shit while i'm gone though i'm probably gonna put out some uh some videos just uh scheduled so that you guys have something to watch at least while i'm gone like i was sick like a while ago and you know i've kind of had a lingering cough since then but just now it was like really bad oh my god <laughs> i just bounced them out of the pen you see that <laughs> that guy went flying that's funny so far so good i think once these planters like finally like bloom it's gonna look really nice there we go i'm gonna do like three in a row like that and then I'm going to place them and I'm going to make, I'm going to use the white ones so it matches. And then, uh, once I get plant fibers, I'll just cover these with like plants and I think it'll look nice. Like maybe something like this would make more sense. Like a, like a, like a bear rug or something like that. Actually, let me move this up. Yeah, I think something like this makes more sense. Just, you know, keep your feet nice and toasty. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. The only other thing I can think of is maybe placing a uh, rug underneath here, but I don't really like my rug options per se, so I gotta... I don't know. I'm not convinced that's a good idea. I could have put... Uh... Oh, shit. Hold on. Realization time. Oh, that looks so nice. I love this. Yeah, so I think this castle is just like done. Like, I don't think I would add a full on carpet on the second floor. I think that this is fine. What do you guys think? You think it's done? I think other than like the, the plants, I think it's done.